Kalala, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakal, Kadash, double honors to the apostles of great millstone, of uh, teaching the word in sincerity and in truth. And salute to you brothers out there. I'm teaching the word. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, um, uh, one of the camps, uh, I wanted to play a clip, um, but you know, obviously the channel's down. So I've got, I happen to have a print screen of um, a, uh, on the 2nd of Jan out there speaking, um, you know, the animals, um, some, you know, pretty much a whole bunch of different uh, uh, animals and stuff were kind of running around the camp, you know, at separate occasions, you know, different animals. And uh, this, you know, particular, you know, um, image, you know, it was kind of, it was spiritual, you know, um, you know, the, the way the dog, you know, came up to brothers, it was like, the, you know, the dog, you know, he pretty much known us for a long time, man, he didn't want to go, um, you know, pretty much, you know, I'm kind of heavy into the animals and stuff like that, you know, but uh, uh, I wanted to, it reminded me, I was, I was just meditating, on it because I was um, planning to do a video anyway, but um, it was re it was reminding me of uh, uh, the times to come. Um, the scriptures and the animals, you know, being uh, at peace with the elect. You know, now there's also scriptures and the animals tearing people up out here in the streets. So you know that's pretty much what it reminded me of. Now let me get those scriptures on um, the animals being. At peace. So what I'll do, I start with Isaiah since it's there. Um, I start with that. <clears throat> uh, Isaiah eleven, uh, verse uh, six: The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a child shall lead them. Now, um, you go back to, uh, you know, you go back to the time of Noah. Um, you know, we was over the animals and the animals feared, you know, the feared man, you know. Um, this is uh, the next verse. And the cow and the bear shall feed. The young one shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. Uh, eight, the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp. Your asp is a... Uh, you know, your, your snakes, right? And it says, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice den. So, in the kingdom, you know, our children, like the scriptures is telling you, are going to be playing with uh, snakes. You know, and, uh, if you look up the word um, for uh, the, what is it, the asp, um, you know, uh, it says, um, what have we got here? I think you say, Pafan. Alright. So have a Pafan or, uh, I think it's Pafan. Anyway, it says, uh, a snake, venomous serpent, perhaps the cobra, adder, or viper. Okay. And um, double check that after as well. Let's have a pachan or pafan, but I think it might be pafan. Anyway, uh, go back here. Um, so we're gonna those venomous snakes and and animals and stuff like that. They're not gonna attack the elect men of the Lord, man. The, the, you know the elect in these days to come because. The animals are going to be going buck wild, if you will, out here on these streets. Uh, Isaiah 11 and... Uh, well, I kind of read the point. I read the point. Okay. So let me get Job. So it says, And the suckling child shall play in the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice den. So these animals, man, they're going to be... Uh, you know, they're gonna be joyful when they, when they, you know, when they, especially in the kingdom. You know, they're gonna be uh, our children are gonna be playing with them. Now, the there's gonna be uh, venomous beasts, 
and things of that nature or creatures you've never seen in your life and things of that nature, you know, attacking people. But the Heavenly Father is going to protect us from that. You know, I can get a quick scripture on that. Uh, Job 15 and uh, 3. Well, I'll start from 2 and it shall come to pass. If they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith the Lord power, such as are for the deaf to the deaf, and such as are for the sword to the sword. So your lot is already determined, determined of how the outcome of things that are going to be. And it's funny because, you know, I've been, uh, since I've been, you know, since uh, the lockdown happened, and then, you know, 2020, um, we was in, I started to notice that a lot of the dogs um, have been um, randomly just barking and um, having outbursts, man. Like complete outbursts. You know, other, you know, there's, you know, I think another brother was telling me an account of some dogs having some outbursts and stuff like that. And um, just, you know, just completely going wild. I've been seeing it, they've been in the, you know, parks and um, just barking and, 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 and going berserk, you know. Now, there was videos about um, different, and, and you know, the spirit of the planet, you know, is, is changing. You know, the spirit of death is, is, is here, you know, it's coming. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, is when, uh, you know, I was watching this one video with a hawk and it, the hawk went into this individual's car because pretty much the hawk um, knew that there was a, like a hurricane coming. So it was, you know, just weren't flying high. It was in the man's car. And I think the man took it in for a bit. So you know, animals are in tune with these, uh, with 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 the frequency of the planet, man. And um, a lot is coming down the pipeline. You know, port, you know, uh, portals of destruction are opening up. Jeremiah fifteen and two, further in, thus saith the Lord: Such as are for death to the death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. So now is not you know the time of you know, uh, uh, you know, complacency and worldly stuff because, um, you know, you're going to get caught out, caught out there. You know, this is the hastening of the day. You know, you, you've got all these, um, <laughs> you've got all these things, angels that have set up uh, for the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, they got set up for people to go through. And the Heavenly Father will say, yep, bro, he's, his des this is his destiny. You carry out that task or whatever the task is. Uh, Jeremiah 15 and 3, and I will point over him four kinds, save the Lord power, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to destroy and to devour. So, you know, we talk about a lot of the wild jaguars and panthers that are out here in uh, in England, you know, which they're in all over the world in different parts. But, you know, I'm pinpointing England right now just because we're here, or uh, because you had a lot of people over the years we've been saying that there's lions in the forest a lot of people have been saying well no there's not and it's only been certain type of Edomites in the countryside that are putting up blogs and and they're saying look man we've seen these things they're roaming around in the they're just roaming around and uh you know they just so there's wild lions one account that I like to mention is that uh when the, during the lockdowns which we're in lockdown right now you had a whole um School was shut down, and there was a picture of a wild cat, you know, like a big, a big cat, just lying on top of the school building, man. That's where you know you usually got, you know, uh, children in there. Okay, uh, Job five and um, and seventeen. Behold, happy is the man whom Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai correcteth. Therefore, despise thou not the chastening of the Almighty, right? Because we're going through, the reason why we labor and we go through what we go through is because we're getting chastened now for sins we've done. So we're putting ourselves on the line. So when the floodgates of destruction, you could have a channel like that, floodgates of destruction, portals of destruction open up. You know, we don't want to be uh, getting tanked because it's going to get it's going to get real serious, man, real soon. 2021, right now, it's getting, it's getting serious. Okay. 
Uh, Job 5 and 18, for he maketh sore and bindeth up, he woundeth and his hands make whole. He shall deliver, deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven, there shall not no evil touch thee. Right? And so he's going to protect us from a lot of things and nukes. Um, and, uh, you know, different, you know, people running around with, 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 with weapons. Because you're going to have people taking down the army. Then they're going to shut people out from these cities. It's going to be massive seditions and things of that nature taking place. You know, uh, knocking people's doors, dragging them out of their houses. Oh, you ain't been tested. You got to get grabbed up. A Job 5.20, in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Okay. So that that's, that says something. You know, to not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. You know, uh, you know we're talking about some serious... You know, this, uh, what Jeremiah said, what dogs to tear and beasts. So we're dealing with... <laughs> We're dealing with fowls of heaven. We're dealing with newly created creatures. The Lord's even going to release through the spirit um, the Leviathan. You know, you got that movie Godzilla. You know? Um, so, you know, it's it's like, a, it's, a, it's you know, it's, it's, uh, it's like a coin effect because I wanted to kind of focus on uh, the Lord protecting us from what's happening. But you can't, talk about the Lord of protecting us from this. At least you talk about what he's protecting you from. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Job 5 and uh, 23. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So when this goes down, and like I said, when, you know, that animal, like I said, I'm into the animals. You know, I'm always um observing animals, you know, you know, like if someone's got dogs or cats, you know, there was one particular, um, you know, cat that, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, you know, he pops by, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you know, he pops by and he chills. Um, and, you know, it's just, you know, this particular, you know, um, you know, dog, like, you know, it was just, you know, it's kind of beautiful, you know, the embrace you know, that um the dog was, was given. So it just made me think about the elect and, you know, being protected from the wrath of the Lord when the Lord summons these, because it's the Heavenly Father that's going to do that, summon these animals to, to, to destroy and tear people up, man. So you got to have to be protected. You know, if the animals are going to do, is either going to, well, animals leave your, your ass alone, but they're either going to embrace or they're going to destroy. You know? You got uh, Edomites, they got animals in cages. A lot of those animals, they're not stupid, man. They know who they're going for. They're going to bust out of those cells and they're going to grab them Edomites up. You know, a lot of you, a lot of you, you individuals, you got animals in cages. You're going to get, you're going to, um, you're going to have to pay for that, man. All right. Uh, let me get a quick scripture. And I'm going to kind of try and close it out now because, uh, I might do a longer video on this because I could bring out some more scriptures, even about the Lord with them beasts newly created and the Lord's wrath. I could bring out that, but I'm going to try and keep it short, this one. Um, what was I just going to bring out? Now I slipped my mind. Uh, that. <clears throat> uh, I kind of forgot what it was. Uh, all right, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can get this then. Uh, where the Lord said, um, give me a second. Because <clears throat> when we was in our, in our, in our, like even uh, King Solomon, man, you know, he would uh, you know, talk to animals and, you know, he was on a high level, man. You know, King Solomon, that was your Yahweh Shai, you know. Um, so that's what so that's what it's gonna be. Uh okay, let me I'm gonna have to let me see what I was um uh, 
see what I was going to get you. Bear with me here. <clears throat> so this, you know, this lesson inspired, you know, this. Uh, okay, this is it. Genesis uh, 9, verse, um, start from 1. And, and the power said unto Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all the all that moveth upon the earth and all the fishes of the sea into your hand are they delivered. Okay. So, you know, pretty much, uh, I don't want this video to be too long. Um, you know, the Lord's, uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is getting ready to perform some uh, miraculous miracles. You know, and um, expect, uh, you know, uh, you know, like uh, almost uh, a little example. I am legend. You had those ferocious lions just walking through those cities. You know, they're going to be, they're not going to attack the elect. You know, um, the Lord had that ravens and, you know, ravens, you know, that's one hell of a bird, man, I tell you. Um, you know, they've they got like, uh, their memory is, uh, is, they'll remember people, man. They remember people specifically and they, you know, they you wouldn't know it, man. Like uh, ravens are the type of animal. If you, you you went to a, a place and you came back years later, that raven would seek you out, man, and and, and you know and look in you with it with the eye, you know their eyes are, you know they're known for their eyes and uh, <laughs> other things, you know. Um, I'm not gonna go all into that, but um, so yeah, so don't you know uh, you know um, you know expect uh, expect the pendulum effect, man. Um, you know, the double-edged sword effect, or should I say, um, the, the coin effect, one side is going to be one thing. For the elect, uh, you know, the animals are going to be at peace with the elect, and for the wicked, they're going to be getting judged, you know. So with that, I'm going to say shallow one.